Hi guys, welcome to the next module. In this lesson, we're gonna learn all about copper and fittings. Again, my name is Wayne Cornish. I'm the instructor for this lesson. Let's dive in. So first of all, we have a 22 millimeter crossover. As you can see, it's a bigger, a bigger fitting than the half inch. I'm gonna bring the half inch. There you can compare the half inch to the 22 mil. And what this does is it's used to cross pipes over in the wall. Okay. Next, we have two 22 millimeter sockets. This is now to join a copper pipe together with another copper pipe. Difference is this socket goes in one side and cannot slip over. Cannot slip over. This is called a straight socket and this is called a slip socket. That can slip over the pipe to join two copper pipes when it's in the wall. Now again, this is 22 millimeter. Exactly the same thing we do, we have in half inch. Those are the 15 millimeter straight couplers. Again, this is a single socket which goes over one side. It's called a 15 millimeter single socket. And this is the slip socket, which again, you can join two pipes in the wall. Then we have a reducer. What this does is it takes the pipe from bigger to smaller okay then we have a 22 millimeter t-piece and a 15 millimeter t-piece okay this is when you want to put pipes in different directions you'll use this t-piece then we have another t-piece and another t-piece you can see the center is Increasing the size to 22 millimeter coming from a 15 millimeter pipe and You can see this one is coming from a 22 millimeter to a 15 millimeter pipe Next up we have a female iron this is two half inch so this would be 20 to half inch uh, 20 to 15 millimeter female iron also used uh, for copper What this does is it can screw into a 20 mm thread so it will just screw in like that. This is used on different applications. If you have three quarter pipe, you want to go to half inch pipe, you could use that. This here is a 20 male elbow uh, to 15 millimeter. So 15 millimeter to 20 millimeter. Just a quick one, the threads on the copper is always 20 millimeter threads as it would screw into a 20 millimeter galvanized thread. This we have here is also called female iron elbows, the capillary female iron elbows, they get soldered. The difference between this is, this could be used for an uh, anchor valve or even a bath mixer. And this could be used for a garden tap because it has mounting screws at the back. So you would basically put that against the wall and mount your screws in there and your garden tap will be sorted. Further, we have a 22 millimeter male line as well as a 15 millimeter male line. Another word for 15 millimeter is half inch. Another word for 22 millimeter is three, 20 millimeter is three quarter. This also gets soldered, which can screw into a normal 20 millimeter thread. Further, we have a 20 millimeter by half inch thread and this is called a 22 millimeter half, uh, 22 millimeter uh, female iron this is used if you want to use this on a galvanized thread you screw it, you screw it against a galvanized thread and use copper to go to copper piping then we have a 22 millimeter elbow and a 15 millimeter elbow this is obviously to change direction 